Well, here we are again. We're down at Bennett Springs. It's about 10.30 in the morning and I'm gonna fish two hours, maybe two and a half hours. I like to come down late when other people have already come and gone. I don't like to fish when it's crowded. So that's why I'm coming down at this time of the day. I'm gonna start out, I think, uh, with a little, rea what I call reaction fishing. I'm gonna do some fast twitching. That's my favorite way to fish, and I think I'll mix in a little drift fishing today just to kind of show you something different. So hang in here with me, and let's see what we can do. This is the lure that I use about 90% of the time for this type of fishing. Most people who fish for trout fish very slowly. They're trying to make a presentation that fools the trout into thinking that their lure is something to eat. And that works, and I've done that myself. But I prefer to fish faster. And what I'm trying to do is get a reaction strike. The lure all of a sudden appears and the trout just turns and hits it without thinking. Another thing that I like to do is to retrieve rather quickly because a lot of people don't know that trout love to chase and I'm trying to take advantage of that. So I use my little black woolly worm and I twitch it and I jerk it different speeds until I find the speed that's working on that particular day. It's my favorite way to fish. A little later though I will do some slower fishing just to show you that I can do that too. Notice this fish that I'm catching is spending a lot of time jumping out of the water and the reason is that this technique works best in shallow water because the lure never has a chance to get very deep and uh, this causes them to jump out of the water more and, and I like watching them do that. That's just another reason I prefer using this technique to catch trout. Several people have made comments about how long it takes me to land a trout and uh, it takes a while because I'm casting a long ways. This technique requires that and in order to cast that far I have to use two or three pound test lines so I don't get a real heavy hook set and so I'm pulling it in a long ways and I have to do it slowly to keep from breaking my line. But if I use heavier line, I'd never catch anything using this technique. Get on in here, buddy. changing my fishing spots quite a bit today for a couple of reasons. One, I'm not catching very many trout. And the other reason is that I'm trying to fish water where there isn't other fishermen to get in my pictures. I've gone to drift fishing now. Didn't have much luck fishing my woolies, so we're going to do a little drift fishing for a while. I'll be using a variety of little nymphs and fur bugs. Like I told you before, you'll notice that the fish aren't jumping up on top quite like they did when I was using the woolies.
Once again, now notice that uh, these fish don't tend to jump up on top quite as much because they're caught in this deeper water. I'm using two pound test line to drift these lures so once again it takes a while to get them in.
Well, as you saw, I was catching a lot more fish uh, drifting today than I was using woolies, but uh, I decided to go back down to a different area and try the woolies again because that's the way I like to fish. I don't measure the success of my trip by the number of fish I catch. I measure the success of my trip by being able to fish the way I want to fish. Well, we've got to get out of here. I stayed a little bit longer than I planned to stay. But I was having a hard time catching fish today, especially on my woolies. But that happens quite often with me. But it doesn't reduce the fun that I have catching fish. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you had as much fun as I did, you'll be ready to come back with me next time. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell and we'll tell you the next time we're going fishing because we want you to be sure and come along with us. This may be our last fishing trip before the new year. So we want to wish all of you a happy and prosperous 2023. And once again, thanks for watching Fish for Fun.